guys, this is Isabella Illustrations here and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be my most anticipated TV shows of 2023. And without further ado, let's get started. The first show that I am most excited to see in 2023 is Shadow and Bone Season 2. Now, I'm super excited. Lately, we've been getting so many images and little things and I'm so excited. It's going to be really great. I've heard nothing but great things. The cast looks phenomenal, especially the new characters and returning characters. I'm just happy with everything overall. Um, I love the books. I read them after season one, but still. Um, I cannot wait to see how they adapt the rest of the series. And um, the teaser we got wasn't much, but it definitely still got me excited. The first season was incredible. I cannot wait to see what they do with the second season, especially since they're going to take some elements from the second book and the third book and kind of mix it a little bit, which I think will be interesting. I can't wait to see what they do with that. And um, yeah, apparently there's going to be some twists and turns that us as readers will not anticipate. So that's going to be exciting. Um, I cannot wait to uh, see this season when it comes out on March 16th. And yeah, that's my uh, first uh, most anticipated TV show of 2023. My second most anticipated show is Loki Season 2. Now, I saw the leaked trailer. It looks phenomenal. I loved Season 1. I personally have always been a Loki fan. I have all the Thor movies basically for Loki. I love him as a character. And I loved Season 1 of Loki. Um, I loved Sylvie. I loved Mobius. I loved all these new characters. And... I'm super excited to see where this new season takes us because where we left off was a pretty pretty bad point. It was like, everything's gone bad now. What's going to happen next? And it's like, I'm really excited to see what happens next. Um, I can't wait to see Loki's journey continue. Uh, I can't wait to see him reunite with Sylvie because from the photos we've gotten released so far, she looks really miserable. So... I hope that the, those two reunite soon. I'm very excited for this season. And um, yeah. The next show I'm so excited to see is um, The Owl House Season 3. Uh, there's two more specials left. And I'm super excited. The first special was really good. It was really fun. I enjoyed the Halloween special. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what they do next with Emperor Bellos and... The collector because we really don't know what the collector is doing at all at this point and Luce's mom went to the demon realm so I can't wait to see her meet Ida uh, I can't wait to see what happened to Ida and Rain uh, I can't wait to uh, see all our characters King the way season two ended was super sad and I just can't wait till we return to the demon realm to see what has befallen our characters what has happened and how they're going to fix this mess. So, yeah, I cannot wait for these two last specials, even though it is a bit sad that we didn't get a full season three. At least we're getting something, so I'm definitely excited. All right, guys, so the next show I'm most excited for is The Mandalorian Season 3. Now, I love the, the relationship dynamic between Din, the Mandalorian, and Grogu. I think they're so cute, and I can't get enough of them. I cannot wait to see more of them. Um, I can't wait to see what goes on with Mandalore and who's going to be taking the throne, I guess. Um, I cannot wait to see the story continue. Um, I'm really excited to see who saved Grogu. We still don't have that answer yet. I'm, I, I, I have my own theories, but it's definitely exciting. The trailer looked great. It looked like there's going to be a hell of a lot of drama, a hell of a lot of adventure, and a hell of a lot of action, which will be super fun to see. And um, yeah, it's Star Wars. Star Wars is always fun. So I cannot wait to see what they bring us with the season three. So the next uh, series I'm super excited for is Spy Family Season 2. They've announced that Season 2 will be coming 2023, as well as a film. I love this series. It's the first anime I've ever gotten into, because I'm not typically a big fan of anime. I'm more of a fan of Disney cartoons and such. 
but this is definitely a really great anime. The family dynamics between Yor, Lloyd, and Anya, they're just such a sweet family, and I cannot wait to see more stuff between them, because as the end of the season's kind of showing, they're starting to definitely develop real feelings, like a real family, and I think that that's really sweet, and I can't wait to see that develop more in the next season, and I just... I just find this show fun and not just for the spy stuff for the secret identity stuff and all that jazz i can't wait to see more of that hopefully the reveal happens at some time but like miraculous we've been waiting forever for a reveal so i don't know how long we're gonna have to wait for that but yeah i'm super excited for season two and i cannot wait to see what they bring to the table this last show is last on the list because i really don't know much about it um, Disney is making, similar to the series that they made for Tangled, they're making a Princess and the Frog series, and I am super excited. I loved that movie. I think it was really fun. Uh, I can't wait to see, uh, more adventures with, uh, Tiana and Naveen and all the other characters. I really loved them. Um, I just, I, I really enjoyed that movie. I don't know what other stories they could tell with those characters. I have no idea. There's no trailers. There's no posters. It's not really much about what it's about, except that it's also kind of like a musical like Tangled was. I'm not a big fan of musicals, but I am a big fan of the characters. So I will watch this show to see what kind of stories they're going to tell, what the characters are going to get up to. Um, and I can't wait to see the fun drama unfold because Tiana is a new princess, right? So obviously there's going to be drama, right? <laughs> so that's going to be exciting to see. So yeah, well, that was my uh, top most anticipated TV shows of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and give a thumbs up and I will see you guys in another video very soon. I have plenty of ideas still, so be um, expecting those soon. Bye-bye.